There's so many rounds you could take this deck, but this is what I'm working with currently. Let's check it out. It was going on to JP, we're here with our February 2022 DDD deck profile. So before we get into our ramblings and explanations, let's check out the deck. So we're going to start off with the monsters with the Viking, Zero Rage Ragey. We only have one of them, by the way. We have three Ragnarok, two Thomas, one Apocalypse, one Typhon, one Newton, three Griffin, one Orthros, three Copernicus, two Ghost, three Swordsman, three Necroslime, three Lamia, and three Kaparani uh, line. Completing the monster lineup. Starting off with uh, the next up is spells. We have three Lord of Darkness, one one for one, one for the Desires, three Dark Contract with the Gate, one Contract with the Swamp King, and one Dark Contract with Patent License. They've been changing up these names, by the way, because they've been officially translated to the TCG, which are coming out soon. So moving on to the actual deck, starting with the spells, we have one Caesar Ragnarok, one Beowulf, one High King Genghis, two regular Genghis. For the Synchros, we have one High King Alexander and one Siegfried. For the Xyz, so we have a two. Machina, which have been translated to the Divisa, which has been translated to the Visa, King, Deuce, uh, Machinex, Machinex. I don't know how he meant to pronounce that. One Kali Yuga, one Caesar, a High King Caesar, and one regular Caesar. That's it for the Xyz for the links. We have three Gilgamesh. I'm gonna quickly go through my side deck. If you want to take any inspiration from this, go ahead, do what you want with it, chuck it in the main deck, chuck it in the extra deck. Side deck, whatever you need. Okay, so uh, this is the deck I'm working with with uh, 2022 right now. The biggest changes are I've just uh, swapped out part of desires with um, Newton. Reason being, I've been playing a lot of Master Rule and Duel Links, and uh, Newton I just keep finding, especially in Master Duels, it's just such a good card. Set up Gilgamesh, Newton, Reggie, consistent level uh, Pendulum 10 and Pendulum 0, especially something about literally anything you want. It's quite insane and it's quite enjoyable. Here's a uh, normal effect, discard it, adding any DD from Grave or Dark Contract from Grave to Hand is also really good. If, uh, if you need a Swords on him, grab it. If you need a Griffin, grab it. If they've destroyed your documents or, or a license, grab it. You can literally do whatever you want, grab whatever you want. It's quite good. The only thing I'm considering in the deck right now is I kind of really want to add the Witch, right? I feel like I have too many monsters, and I also want Witch because I've really discovered while playing Master Duel, because we don't have the new support Master Duel, I've been playing Witch, and it's so good to have um, the popping effect. And if I could include it in this deck somehow, it's a bit squishy. Literally, I'm considering Desires, or I need to get rid of one of these one-offs, or maybe one Ghost, we don't have too many one-offs with Desires, and it's complicated. However, theoretically, you can, you can easily get a board with all three of these contracts, with Amnesty, with High King, Caesar, and Siegfried. I've literally just done a stream where I've done it right now. Imagine that board. So we have a Spell and Trap Negate. We have uh, multiple, like, uh, Disruption. Negation of Special Summon. And then they can only Special Summon once, once of each monster, right? Imagine we had that, plus a generic um, dis Disruption or, or destru Destruction. It'd be insane. But we're, we're talking about this deck right now. So this deck here. This guy helps a lot, special summons a lot easier, uh, does uh, many, many, many incredible things when it comes in. It's also a level 7, so it can allow me to go into Siegfried. Uh, I'm sure we all know that by now. It's just a great card. This deck can easily end up on Amnesty, High King Caesar, High King Alexander, High King <laughs> Genghis. I uh, can go into Siegfried. You can do so many possible rats and combos. Literally, just check out any of my streams. You'll see me going into some incredible things. Even if this deck doesn't work out, you got Reiji to do things with, you got Apocalypse to do things with, so much special, some potential fusion, Synchro, Xyz, Link potential, and this card helps to lock out your opponent from those exact summoning methods that you have conducted, it's quite insane, you can banish cards quite easily, um, this guy here lets you go into Kali Yuga quite easily, even, even if you don't use this guy for your um, pendulums, you just use Copernicus, use this guy for a normal summon, I've been using him a lot on Master Duel for attacking and winning the games, negating the graveyard and hand traps, attacking directly, going for game. Because his effect is really incredible for that. Uh, so this deck has so much versatility and variety, it's uh, the main thing I love about it, and I love versatility variety. I've been saying it for years, this deck has it all. 
Um, and the main combos are genuinely Copernicus, Griffin, those two cards in hand. Amazing combos, especially if you end up with a Soul Slam or Kepler on top of that. It's incredible. The deck has so much potential, so much um, variety, and it can do so much, right? And I quite love it. I quite love it. I'm just not sure if I want to keep the designs in the deck or not, if I'm being honest. Anyway, I'm going to get on out of here. Hope you enjoyed this in my February 2022 deck of DDDs, and I'll catch you later.